Hey guys, it's your girl Shalana back today with another video. In today's video, we're going to discuss the states that are opening up their Section 8 applications. Now, for the past few weeks, I've been posting videos regarding Section 8 secrets and how you can get your name on the list as well as how to prepare for the application. So definitely check out those videos. But if you want to know if your state is on the list, you already know what to do. Stay tuned. Your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, Hi, hello, hey friend. My name is Shalay and here on this channel we discuss shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like because you love me bringing this content to you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And guys, I enjoy doing it. Now don't forget, I do have an ebook for sale. Go ahead and pick up that ebook for $14.97 if you ever wanted to get on YouTube and make this money. As well as if you're just starting out your business, you know, go ahead and get your get the vendors list ebook that I have that'll help you know with those graphics, those arts, you know, different things like that. Now, if you are unfamiliar with Section 8, let me go ahead and put you on game real quick, okay? The Section 8 program allows private landlords to rent apartments or homes to you at fair market value. Now, normally the qualified tenants can be low income or they have some rental subsidy that is administered by HUD. Section 8 also can be known as like the housing voucher. Um, people just call it, you know, like income-based apartments, but it is funded by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. So every month, cities and counties open their applications for a certain amount of days or maybe even just one day. Now, because the demand of affordable housing is like really expensive right now, you know what I mean? Like, it's, you know, like affordable housing, it just don't go right now. But on there, some people you can wait for several years on the waiting list, some maybe not, okay? So a lot of people now are applying more for Section 8 because of the times that we are living in. Let's just keep it 100. Larger areas usually have a larger waiting list, where smaller areas, they have a shorter list. But in no particular order, let's go ahead and begin which states are opening up. So the first state we're gonna begin with is Frederick, Maryland. The housing authority in the city of Frederick, Maryland, Section 8 waiting list is opening soon. Applications will be accepted starting September 1st and through the whole month of September, so September 30th. Now, there are two ways that you can apply. The first way is you can apply for an online application or they're going to take in-person applications on Tuesdays only, okay? That is it, Tuesdays from 9 a.m. to 2.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And they have the housing office located on 209 Madison Street in Frederick, Maryland. Now, they're going to have the following preferences, and that is for elderly, disabled, working, or veterans. Selected applications will be placed on the waiting list by lottery, weighed by random preference. So I wanted to put this video out a little bit earlier first, right? So that way you have time to get your affairs and orders because we know next week is going to be September. Oh my gosh, like these months are flying by, especially when you get older. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next state. We have Bexar County, Texas, and that is the San Antonio Housing Authority Section 8 waiting list is going to open on September 1st as well. Now they will be accepting applications until September 17th. During this period, only you can complete an online application. Preferences have not yet been confirmed if you're unsure what a preference is, take a look at some of my other videos. I go into detail about it, especially my Section 8 secrets. But for the Bexar County or San Antonio, Texas Housing Authority list, they're going to accept 5,000 applicants by a random lottery. So guys, that's a lot of applications. And I'm going to let you know right now, you know, it can take a while before they call you, but they are accepting a lot of applications. Let's go ahead and move on to Michigan. Now, Michigan has a lot going on, okay? The Michigan State Housing Development Authority Section 8 waiting list is going to open for the following counties. This is Livingston, Macomb, Monroe, Oakland, Washtenaw County. And they're going to open up on September 1st as well, but they're only opening for one day that's it you better get in where you fit in darling they're going to open up september 1st at 8 a.m until september 2nd at 5 p.m eastern standard time now these counties have the following preferences the homeless county of application residency and this is for if you're homeless or living or working in the county of the application they also have the disabled where if a person is disabled or living and working in that county then they have the county of application for someone who is living or working in the county 
of the application and then they have the disabled Michigan residency now this is for applicants who are disabled but is not living or working in the county of application so in the video I talked about how you can submit different applications for other counties like you can try to play like the lottery and see who has a shorter waiting list but it just depends on doing it and that's what Michigan is allowing you to do they have the Michigan residency for if you're not living or working in the county or application and then the disabled out-of-state residency for if the applicant is disabled or a non Michigan resident now for these applications there will be 250 applicants will be placed on each list and that is in Livingston and Monroe County waiting list then they're gonna have 500 applicants that will be placed Placed on Maycomb, Oakland, and Washington County as well. But Michigan, like I said, they're doing it big because they also have the following counties that will be opening up on September 8th. Try to pronounce some of these counties because I just feel like I'm just going to mess it all up. But you can see them if you can't. Go ahead and just pinch the screen. It'll enlarge it for you. But when I tell you September 8th, I'll come back and remind you again once I learn how to pronounce these. Okay, you know, don't talk about your girl. Pray for your girl. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next state. Next, we are headed to Sarpy County, Nebraska, where the Bellevue Housing Agency waiting list will be opening. Now, they're going to open one day as well in September, and that is on September 15th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Central Time, so for two hours. Now, to apply during the application period, you will have to submit the application online. The waiting list has the following preferences. You must live in Sarpy County, work at least 25 hours a week, disabled status, elderly, 62 or years old or older veteran homeless taking rent wise class or the displaced by federal or state recognized disaster so as of right now it's not known how many applicants will be on this list but they are going to start accepting applications on September 15th and then last but not least we are headed to good old California hey knows how to party what up Cali so in Alameda California their list will be opening up as well on September 10th at 8 30 a.m and it will go for 10 days to september 20th till noon now to apply you will have to submit an application online they have not confirmed the preferences or how many applications they will accept but if you are in alameda california honey you already know mommy you need to go ahead and start getting your stuff together so you can be on that list september 10th I know a lot of people have been asking me like girl Shalay, when is my city opening up their um section eight and guys honestly i don't know a lot of times i'm going out and i'm searching for the states that are opening them and so i just come and when i get a few i put them all together but as you can see some of the applications close so early it's really hard for me to put them out because some of them only open for one day so let me know if you like videos like this if you go check out my other videos you can see where people have left comments down below where some people have waited um you know 24 hours they were in the right place at the right time where some people waited 20 years to get it like i said i mean i'm always you know have your eggs in multiple baskets so hey apply for the application you might forget that you even put your name on the list and five six years from now they might be calling you and telling you that you received it okay so i mean just submit but i promise you i will continue to make videos like this and if i haven't got to your state i will come to you it just may be that your state hasn't opened and in some cases some states have a like an extensive waiting list that they're just not opening so that's all i have make sure you go ahead and pick up my ebook let me know if you like videos like this do you have something that you know about how to get your name on the list a little bit you know quicker tell or share your secrets down below and yeah that's all i got i'm trying to stay in the game i know monday wednesday and friday it works best for me right now but i'm gonna be honest with you guys like you know, because I am working and I got a lot going on. But sometimes there is information that goes on on the weekend and I'm like, oh, I got to give it to you. I got to give it to you. I got to give it to you. So when that happens, that's why you get videos like this. And that's all I got. So work with your girl. OK, work with your girl. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.